Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Tonight's dinner is biscuits and gravy. Super simple and easy. Um, you are gonna need roughly half a gallon of milk and I'd say probably three, two to three cups of flour. But the way I describe it in the video are handfuls. <laughs> so honestly, this recipe is one of those recipes that you gotta kinda eyeball it yourself to know what you need. So, uh, I think that's all I need to talk to you about. Let's get started. Okay guys, for our biscuits and gravy, you're gonna need a few things. Pound of sausage. You're gonna need a little bit of flour. Obviously, you're gonna need your thing of biscuits. We're gonna need some milk, salt, and pepper. Now, I'm gonna get my sausage browning in my skillet, and I will be right back. Okay, I'm going to try to do this with one hand, but what we are going to do, guys, is we're going to get this sausage nice and all browned up. And what we're going to do after that is we're going to add a little bit of flour to our grease. So do not drain your grease. We want all that. And... So you know how most of the times whenever we're ground, we're browning um, hamburger, I'll always say, you know, I don't want it to be like taco meat thin chunks of of a hamburger. Well, it's the same way with our sausage and our gravy. We, I don't want little bitty chunks. So like this right here, these few little pieces, that's about as small as I want it to be. So this is about a good texture of the ground beef, right? I don't want it any smaller chunks than that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and let this finish browning. And when I come back, we're going to move on to the next step. So go ahead and get your sausage browned and then come back. Okay, guys. Our sausage is nice and fully browned. Look at all that grease. Perfect. So what we are going to do is I am now going to go ahead and get my biscuits going <laughs> so I'm gonna preheat to 350 you guys do whatever your biscuits say you need to do so I'm gonna get my oven going start okay so now we're gonna take our flour and I'm gonna attempt to do this one-handed the best I can so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a hand full and I'm going to sprinkle it over my gravy, my grease, I mean. That's two handfuls. I'm going to show you my handfuls. Three handfuls. There's four handfuls. I'm going to take my whisk. I about dropped my camera, I'm sorry. And I am just gonna get this nice and mixed together. What I'm doing, I want that, I want the um, flour, if I could speak, to absorb that grease. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add another handful. I'm gonna add one more. Alright, this next. There, now you see how some of it's not getting soaked up. That's what we're looking for. Alright, now I'm going to grab my gallon of milk. You guys are going to come with me. <laughs> see my messy kitchen. Okay, so I'm going to open my milk, okay, so now I'm going to pour in two, three cups, 
And now what we're gonna do is we are gonna non-stop stir. Keep doing this. Actually, I'm gonna turn that heat up. I'm gonna turn it up to an eight. And I'm just gonna keep stirring and keep stirring because the hotter this milk gets, the more it's gonna thicken from that flour. And then once it gets to the point to where it's thickening and it's to it's to its peak, right? So it's not it's either it's gonna stay as runny as it is or as thick it is as it is. So at that point is where you know, okay, do I need to add more flour or do I need to add more milk? So this is what we keep doing. I have a huge mess to clean up. <laughs> I've got flour everywhere. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stop the video, and I'm gonna come back when this when uh, the gravy gets thick, and then you're gonna see, you can see the difference. So I'm gonna stop for just a second. Don't fall in. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so you can see see how thick that gravy got. I am actually going to add a little bit more milk to it and I turn my heat down okay now what's gonna happen is that milk is gonna break it up a little bit and then it's gonna th go back to being a little bit thicker it's just not gonna it's just not gonna be as thick as it was I'd say that is almost perfect. Turn that heat down. I'm at about a four, so medium low. Okay, now I am going to salt and pepper mine. Of course, you guys can use as much salt and pepper as you would like. my salt get back to stirring this is really tough to do with one hand <laughs> all right get my pepper You can see the texture we got now. I almost, hmm, I almost think I'm gonna add just a tad bit more milk. That's looking better. All right, a little more pepper. The pepper does not come out of this shaker very easy. All right, there's my oven. So I'm gonna turn this all the way down to low, okay? It's looking awesome. All right, I'm going to pop open my biscuits and get them on my cookie sheet, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I got my biscuits on my pan. They go into the oven for 13 to 15 minutes. So we're going to do 14. And now all with my um, gravy on low and just simmering, that's all we're gonna do is just kind of maintain our gravy until our biscuits are done. So at this point, if you think your gravy is just a tad bit too runny, get a little a little cup or a little bowl. Put yourself, oh, do a teaspoon, I'm sorry, a tablespoon of flour. Add a little bit of milk to that and whisk it up real good. 
until it gets real frothy and there's no um, lumps in it. And then pour that into your gravy and see if that thickens it up a little bit. Um, you could also just, if you're, I do this, I've been told that I shouldn't and that's not how you do it, but this is how I do it. If my gravy is too runny, I just go into the bag of flour, grab a handful and then sprinkle it, you know, around in the gravy and then mix it up really good, you know. That's how I do it. I've been told that's not how you're supposed to. I don't know. Do you? I am actually going to get a spoon and we're going to try this. I want to know if I need more if I need more salt or pepper. Um, I think it could use a touch of salt, but you know what? I like salt and some people don't, so I'll just salt my own plate. <laughs> okay guys, so all I'm going to do is what I'm doing right here. Let this set for a few minutes, come and stir it. Set it, let it set for a few minutes, come and stir it until my biscuits are done and we'll, I will come back and I'm going to show you the uh, finish Okay guys, so I just wanted to jump back on here. I've still got six minutes left on my biscuits and I uh, I really don't want my gravy to cook anymore So I just went ahead and shut my heat off and removed it from the heat and I'm probably gonna let it sit until I've got oh About two minutes left on my timer for my biscuits, but I'm not gonna stir it because if I stir it then I'm uh, releasing the heat that's you know, in the gravy that's, I don't know how to explain that, but like the gravy gets a layer on top of it and it holds the heat in. And if I can just keep stirring it, then I'll just keep releasing heat, right? So I'm going to go ahead and let it set till I've got about two minutes left and then I'm going to um, put it back on some heat. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I'm just at two minutes left. So I'm going to go ahead, turn this heat back on low. And now you can kind of see the the layer that it create well never mind no you can't <laughs> i stirred it earlier all right so i'm just going to turn it on low keep an eye on it till my biscuits get done they are looking almost looking good so they went a little longer than the package said i think the package said what was it 13 to 17 um i've added probably dang near 10 minutes to it. <laughs> That's how not accurate that is. <laughs> so yeah, definitely keep an eye on your biscuits before you go to add this back to your heat. Or, you know, you know, you just start biscuits before you start your gravy. Because <laughs> it's going to take longer. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll be right back. Okay guys, I shut my gravy off. My biscuits are done. They are nice and toasty. Shut my oven off. See how they look on the bottom. Beautiful. Okay, I am gonna pause this. I'm gonna get two plates served and I'll be right back. Okay guys, there you go. There is your biscuits and gravy. So this one's Jalen's and this one's his. All I did was just bust open the biscuit, pour gravy on each side of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button. Then if you would hit that bell and then click all. So that way you get notified for everything that I do on YouTube. Whether it be posting a video, commenting in the... Uh, community tab what have you and uh, hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed and leave me a comment i love reading your guys's comments and last but not least check out my description box where i've got links to my facebook group instagram twitter and my etsy shop where i have all my uh recipes for sale for a dollar and just by purchasing one you can show me some support and show uh 
cooking with Alana some support and help keep this channel going. So as always, you guys, I totally appreciate you for watching, commenting, hitting that thumbs up, anything you guys do, okay? If you guys make this, leave me a comment. Oh, oh, and before I forget, uh, in the, disc in the um, comments, I want you guys to give me your honest, <laughs> this is like a controversy in our house, okay? Not controversy, I shouldn't say that, but <laughs> I like to do something a little out of the ordinary with my biscuits and gravy. And I want to know if anyone out there in YouTube land has heard this, if they do, if you know, you do it, or if they've seen somebody do it. But with my biscuits and gravy, I like to put ketchup on it. <laughs> I do. I put a little bit of ketchup. I put just like a little dab in the middle of each biscuit and mix it into my gravy. And everybody makes fun of me for it. I like it. <laughs> I don't know, but I want to know. Have, do you guys do that or have you seen anybody do that? Let me know in the comments, guys. All right. I am going to see you guys in the next one. Bye.